Hey folks, Sam here, and welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. In this video, we talk about one of Head's most iconic frames, the Prestige MP. In this generation, the Prestige MP model features the specs in line with the previous generation's Prestige Tour. The MP features an 18 by 19 string pattern, a slim 21.5 millimeter beam, and an elongated shaft design that has been such a staple on the Pro Tour for years. With this version, Head introduces their auxetic construction in the racket's yoke. Auxetic technology does not weaken when stretched. The structure actually strengthens, so at contact it provides a uniquely stable yet comfortable feel. The MP features a 10.8 ounce unstrung weight, a headlight balance, and a mid-plus 99 square inch head. The full cap grommet is back, again for added stability and addictive sound at contact. Let's see how Jeannie and Tyler fared with Head's most forgiving racket in the Prestige line. The new Prestige MP from Head is a racket that I enjoy playing testing, although it was on the lighter side. I still think that this racket has a lot of uh, good things to it. My serve was very on point with this racket. It really gave me a lot of sense of control, a sense of you know easiness to it, and also it was effortless. On the forehand side, I was able to create a lot of curve into the balls and try to create a lot more spin as well as a lot more power, but I was a little concerned about how I can create spin with this racket. And honestly, it was amazing because I didn't have to try so hard. It was really just that effortless. On the backhand, I could, you know, again, the slice was very easy for me. It was smooth to the touch and even the volleys were very easier for me to hit because I was only controlling the power that was coming at me. At the same time the precision was as well a bonus for me so overall I would say that this racket really has a lot of good qualities to it and has a lot of aspects that players are looking for I would recommend this racket to all advanced players and intermediate players who are looking for something on the lighter side of the frames that you know can offer a lot more feel a lot more control as well as a lot more precision I think that you will be pleasantly surprised with this new MP from head Hey guys, my name is Tyler. Today I'll be reviewing the new Head Prestige MP. Out of the three frames, I feel like the MP was the best choice for me. They deliver a great amount of power as well as control. Uh, best thing about this rack is that when I was swinging, especially when I was doing forehands, doing backhands, I felt like the thin uh, construction of the frame definitely provided a lot more swing weight. Um, I was able to hit a lot faster through the air and that in turn generated a lot more power for me. Um, in regards to serving, um, the, the small head size does help me kind of narrow down where my choices are and help me kind of um, aim at the direction that I want it to be. Uh, I find that most of the points that I did win uh, was definitely on the volleying. Uh, I felt like I had absolute control, especially with the MP model. Uh, it felt great. Um, I would highly recommend maybe uh, players that are around 4.0 to 4.5 looking to advance, looking to grow their game. And I think the Prestige MP is a perfect choice. While I know some will be confused with the new naming scheme, an easy way to remember for the new Prestige MP is Prestige for most players. This is the most accessible racket. It's the lightest Prestige. It features the largest head size. Um, it offers that iconic old school prestige feel, so it's a control racket, but it also just gives you a little bit more help than most control rackets would. For me, for the three prestige models this year, the racket that's gonna work the best for my game is definitely the MP. It, it's got a, the best balance of a maneuverable weight, but um, very good stability for that weight, so it's not gonna fatigue you after 35, 45 minutes of use. You're gonna be able to play long matches and recover. Um, the Graphene 360 Plus tech is still built in, so the frame is very, very comfortable. And the new Auxetic construction, it, it really does kind of crisp up the feel, but keep it comfortable as well. Of all the Prestige models, I really think the MP is the easiest to serve with. It's very comfortable on the shoulder and elbow, and you're going to get some sneaky power when you're hitting the flat serves uh, down the tee. For you doubles players out there, a lot of us are looking for a racket where you can get a little extra punch on service returns, but you still have the mobility up at the net when you're poaching or trying to put away a volley. And for me, the Prestige MP really shines in both of these areas. If you're part of that Prestige lineage and you've used the Pro or the Tour in the past, the Prestige MP is a really, really good option. It's gonna be a little bit more forgiving, a slightly larger head size. You still get that thin beam, which is a really nice thing for us traditionalists that like that old school feel, but all in all, this is a prestige for most players. 
All in all, it's a really nice look from the new Prestige MP. It kind of has a callback to that 1987 candy cane red in the hoop with, of course, some modern sensibilities to it as well. This is the Prestige that's going to be most accessible. If you, if you have found yourself in the past really loving the Prestige or kind of, kind of being enamored with the cap grommets and, and the rackets were just too demanding for you, I strongly encourage you to check out the Prestige MP. It's more accessible than ever and it's a chance for a lot of different levels of player to enjoy the Prestige tradition. Thanks for checking out another racket review. For more info, keep it right here at Tennis Express.